welcome back to the Always Reading Book Club. It is your girl Kiki Reader, and we are diving back into our fix series. Um, if you haven't caught up, I'm going to have the first three books in the link down below, and then we're going to jump to today's book, which is Hudson. Now, little FYI, Hudson is basically this story from Hudson's point of view. So we're not really, this isn't going to be that long today because, um, I mean, I'm not just going to redo the whole story again, but also because it more so gives us some insight to some of the situations that happen. We can kind of see it from his point of view and maybe, uh, just get a little bit more info. That's kind of what we'll do today. So it's not going to take too long for us to dive into Hudson. So, this, of course, starts off with where he actually first saw Elena, which was at the Stern, uh, the symposium. And he was he really was truly intrigued with her from the beginning. So he wasn't lying. <laughs> he really was intrigued with her. And so um, also throughout this book, it kind of goes back and forth like present and past. So it'll go from like currently what we're dealing with all the way back until like when Mira was like 14 years old because it's just kind of just trying to give us an idea again of like why he is the way he is why these different characters are the way that they are so it starts off going back to when he kind of started with the game <laughs> and this is how everything went down with him and with with Celia so Celia had moved to San Francisco for college and um when she went out there when she came back to visit um on a break she was letting him know that she thought she had found like the love of her life in a in this guy named Dirk and so Hudson wanted to see if she really had found the love of her life and that was why he wanted to test her and so I think he honestly felt something for Celia because when she was telling him about Dirk he did feel like a twinge of jealousy but then he felt like no that can't be what I'm feeling but I think because he was always so used to her she always liked him you know but he never you know returned those feelings but I think deep down he kind of did so that's it was his whole purpose he wanted to test to see okay is this really the love of your life um so he then went to Mirabelle, who was, uh, I'm not calling her Mirabelle. I forgot. I hate that name. It's Mira. <laughs> so he went to Mira. Mira was like 14 years old at this time. And he asked her, you know, how do you get a woman to fall for you? So Mira at first, you know, she was willing to help him. She was like, as long as this wasn't, you know, for Celia. So Mira has never liked Celia <laughs> from the beginning. So unfortunately this was about celia <laughs> but he wanted you know being who mira is she's like such an honest person and it's genuine so he needed that information from somebody like that so that way he can convey that type of emotion it is psychotic but that's what he did so um that's how he wooed celia i mean he went after her re relentlessly um and it worked because she had always had like a major crush on Hudson. And um, I think honestly, the reason it worked so well, again, is because she liked him. And I feel like he did like her and had some form of love for her. And that's why it bothered him kind of that she claimed she had found the love of her life. So then we find out um, it goes back to the present and then we find out that celia had pulls elena's background before jordan did so jordan remember we learned in the other book he was uh like special ops so he's like ex-military and so this is the person that he gets to like uh hudson gets to look up information find out things and you know that's his that's his person so of course when he saw elena and he had Jordan, you know, pull her information. So he doesn't know that Celia has already gotten the information. 
until she comes by to see him but before she gets there um hudson has a therapy session with uh dr albert and the doctor the therapist comes to his office because yes hudson's busy but the truth of the matter is he wants to be comfortable and he doesn't want to have to shift anything around to go to therapy (laughs) so basically what that has happened because he's been going to this guy for three years but basically what has happened is it's gotten stagnant like there's no there's no growth and so dr albert is like you know we're at a standstill he's like and you know i think you really need to consider coming to my office you know if you're serious about it and about really getting better and hudson was pretty much like you know, well, maybe I'm cured. Maybe I don't need you. And Dr. Apple's like, well, you know, if that's how you feel, then we can always end the relationship. You know, this is about you getting better, you know? And so he thought that was going to like rattle the doctor, but it didn't, you know, it's like, you know, he's here to help you. You either want the help or you don't. So he says, well, let me think about it and then I'll get back to you. So after the doctor leaves, not too long after Celia comes to the office and um she of course lets him know she has pretty much a what's the word she has a mark pretty much (laughs) and so initially he wasn't going to play the game but when he sees that kind of Celia's already put stuff in motion so we find out Celia has already gone to the club the sky launch and spoken with the owner and found out you know that he wants to sell and she's already put in an offer so that puts hudson on alert like oh shoot like okay i gotta jump in here because you gotta remember he does want to get to he does want he feels that automatic uh zing or whatever it is for elena and he sees like Celia is clearly like, yeah, she's ready to play a real game. So that's when he goes, okay, I'll put a, you know, I'll, you know, do a better offer and I'll buy you, uh, buy you out. And so she agrees. So the, of course it is the whole game is she believes that Elena can be broken. And of course he believes that she can't be um celia of course that foul she she had everything like she had that okay she had the arrest record that's not that great but my thing was she had the doctor in therapy notes (laughs) like how thorough and just how awful that she was able to get that like that's supposed to be the most confidential stuff and she was able to get it so i'm like that was like wow no wonder she really felt like she could get her because she literally had everything on that girl and so um i think she saw that initial because when they were at the symposium she saw his reaction to elena even if it was for a split second she saw it and i and that of course is why she was like oh perfect mark because he hadn't been playing in a few in in about three years he hadn't been playing and so she was like oh this is a way to get him back in because she does know him better than anybody else we do have to remember that so then it goes back to the past and then it shows where um hudson is basically playing with her and saying you know how lucky she is to have found the love of her life and that he was jealous of Dirk because you know Dirk has Celia's love and then he abruptly leaves and then he ignores her for like two weeks so she comes over to the house she corners him um they're having a pool party at their house and they go in a room and they talk and she you know tells him that she loves him and a part of him feels like he could love her um he doesn't say this to her um but that's kind of something he kind of feels 
which again to me i think he did but i think because he wasn't good with his emotions and couldn't process them i think that's why he didn't say it plus he is playing a whole ass game (laughs) so then he kisses her and then he leaves and i'm just like oh my gosh so then a few weeks later um he's kind of dodging her again right so a few weeks later um there's another there's another party at christina brooks who is actually a uh one of celia's like really good friends and so hudson and celia were actually supposed to meet up and talk at this party have like a conversation and she he finds out via christina that celia was there earlier and that she had broke up with her boyfriend dirk over the phone so he's feeling victorious and horny so he takes christina to her room because this is at christina's house and they fuck and celia walks in on the session and he gets even more turned on because this was even better than like what he had planned i'm like oh yeah he got a real problem (laughs) so then of course he goes after celia and he's like well what's wrong with you and they go back and forth and basically you know he makes her feel stupid because he never he never told her that he wanted her he just knew what to say to make her think that he did feel something which honestly i do think he did i think he did feel something but he was just not capable of (laughs) going down that path so she of course you know she's destroyed she leaves he goes back and he fucks christina two more times (laughs) like shit (laughs) so he goes back to uh their home in the hamptons mabel shores and he sees celia's car and um he finds out from mira that she had came earlier looking for him and said she wait for him on the patio so when he goes outside of course that's when he sees her leaving the guest house uh which the dad had been placed in the guest house because apparently uh sophia thought he was screwing aaron who was mira's nanny so she's leaving she looks clearly you know freshly fucked and uh he gives her you know the dad gives her a final kiss celia walks past him they don't say a word to each other but there's like this understanding of like yep i got you back so three months later celia comes to a thanksgiving party and tells hudson that she's pregnant and so he agrees to say it's his because in reality jack's the father but that would destroy the two families and so a month later um at a christmas party sophia kept speaking of like an engagement between celia and hudson so she kept trying to like push him to like you know oh i don't see a ring box underneath the tree like she just kept trying to like push the subject of engagement and hudson's like i'm not marrying her (laughs) and so a month or so later after that um which would put her at about three months um she actually went into labor and she had the baby but it was stillborn um so when hudson got there um she told him you know she felt numb and that's when she started asking him about the game and so now we kind of see why she became intrigued and why you know not feeling is something she kind of wants to stay like not feeling because i think it, it, it all makes sense now you know because i think a big part of her wanted that baby and the fact that it died it was just that was too much for her mind to cope with so that game allowed her to do things to probably like inflict pain on other people but she didn't have to feel it so hudson thinks that it's possible <laughs> that you know he kept her messed up by playing the game and so he tells so um celia at sophia's party um so we we're we're going yeah we're going back into the current state (laughs) our present and he tells um at sophia's birthday party um he tells 